movie lovers, and today we are actually doing a little trailer reaction to Indiana Jones 5, and this is a movie that is highly on my anticipation list for 2023, especially when you're dealing with the, the aging process when it comes down to the special effects, and I'm excited to be able to do this. Hello to everyone, Charlie. Hello, and I, like you said, I'm also excited too. Then again, I'm going to low hopes because that last one was just, what the hell was that? <laughs> Right? Anything has to be better than that one, right? And that was 2008, so hopefully the graphics improved in 14 years. Well, be 15 years. Right? So let's go ahead. Let's get on with it. I miss the desert. I miss the sea. I miss waking up every morning, wondering what wonderful adventure the new day will bring to us. Those days have come and gone. Perhaps, perhaps not. I don't believe in magic, but a few times in my life, proceedings. Things I can't explain. And I've come to believe it's not so much what you believe. It's how hard you believe it. Who is this man? He's I'm her godfather. Related. <laughs> Get back. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. <laughs> okay. So, here's the thing. I definitely like the de-aging process. I do like the fact that they're actually going to introduce us to it in the very beginning, and then after that, it's just going to be a regular Indiana Jones movie. So, I like that. It seems like the humor is back in this movie, though, too, where it's not forced, unlike the last one, where they were trying to do too much slapstick stuff to make you laugh. Don't get me wrong. Indiana Jones is funny on some aspects of it, but on some uh, other thing, it needs to be a little bit of seriousness mixed in with that. And I didn't really feel like the stakes were high when I looked at the last Indiana Jones movie, but I am definitely excited for this movie. And also, too, the Dial of Disney, it makes me wonder what they, what else they're going to do with this film as far as the plot points go. But what about you? What, what do you think? What stands out for you? I mean, it looks cool. I mean, it looks like there might be some good action sequences. Um, they're getting away from the whole alien UFO situation. So that's that's plus. Um, I don't know what to, like, again, we're still a long ways away from this one. So I'm like, almost like, almost about six months. So I don't know. I mean, I'm excited for it. But again, I need to see, I kind of want to see more. Because again, I'm not, I wasn't a huge Indiana Jones fan. I watched a couple, I watched them like, as, like years ago. And I don't really remember a lot of them. But it's, I mean, I'm in, I'll, I'll, I'll probably see it. Because it's, it's a chance to go to the movies. But I, I don't know, I need to see more. I got you. As for me, I love the look of it. I grew up on Indiana Jones. I'm a huge Indiana Jones fan. So tell me what you guys think below. Tell us what did you think of this new Indiana Jones movie? Are you sold? Are you still kind of apprehensive because of the fact of what of the bad taste that of the last one left in your mouth? Are you happy that there's no aliens? Because I know I am. Tell me everything below, and don't forget to smash the like button, comment, and subscribe button below. And always until next time, guys.